Good day, everybody. Today, I'm going to be talking on the subject of Zeeland West High School. There is a lot to love about Zeeland West High School. Just ask any one of its students. However, similar to everything else in this life, um, Zeeland West High School has its flaws. And today I will be discussing those flaws. Many of us students and staff here at Zeeland West High School have come to know and love a man named Mr. Milky. He teaches civics and U.S. history, and I had him for both of those classes, and I thoroughly enjoyed my time spent with him. However, one injustice that the school does to this man is they misspell his name on the staff bulletin board. As you can see, they spell his last name M-I-E-K-L-E. -E. Clearly this is not how his name is spelled. Uh, in fact, it is M-I-E-L-K-E. -E. I would appreciate it, and I'm sure that Mr. Milky would appreciate it, if his name um, were to be fixed uh, and, and spelled correctly. On to problem number two. In the main hallway here at Zeeland West High School, we have four commitment to graduate posters. I have zero problem with our students wanting to graduate. That is a, a wonderful cause, and I am all for that. However, I would appreciate it if the order in which the posters were placed uh, made, made sense. Um, as right now they do not. If you're walking down the hallway coming from the cafeteria you'll notice that the first poster is from 2019, the second 2020, the third though is 2017 and the fourth is 2018. This this makes no no sense. Um, I'm not sure what inspired our staff to order it in such a way all I know is that um, it should be fixed. On to problem number three. Mr. Van Putten. He teaches math here. Not a big fan. Problem number four. Mr. John Slodak's room. If you or any one of your friends were to ever walk into Mr. John Slodak's classroom, you would notice that about 80% of the writing is in a certain font called Comic Sans. Comic Sans has become um, one of the most hated fonts in American culture, um, yet Mr. Slodak apparently has not um, made himself familiar with that notion. I would appreciate it if he were to choose a more sophisticated font as the students that he's teaching aren't kindergartners. Um, just something easier on the eyes, uh, something sharper, something um, with a little more class. Problem number five. If you walk down to the pool area here at Zeeland West High School, you'll notice that it is a, a beautiful place. You have an incredibly large staircase, um, a beautiful view of the pool uh, through big glass windows, um, and beautiful uh, lighting coming from the ceiling. However, one of, one of the worst parts of Zeeland West High School is located there, and that is the elevator. If an 80-year-old man were to go onto that elevator, he has a 30% chance of leaving the elevator alive. That elevator is so extremely slow that it is a sin. Um, I once uh, went into that elevator 
12 years ago. I have just escaped recently, as my skin tone may indicate, not much sun shines through that elevator. Um, I just wish that we had something better. I don't understand either why it is so slow. It's a new elevator. We're in new school. Um, you know, compared to the schools around us, I feel as though we should have a, an elevator with a little more, you know, giddy up to it. Unfortunately, that's just not the situation that we found ourselves in here at Zealand West High School. Um, if you're watching this video and agree with what I'm saying, I hope that you not only uh, listen and, and care about uh, the, the subjects that I've discussed in this, in this video, but that you take action and um, join me in the fight uh, to fix this school. I thank you all for watching, uh, you beautiful people, and I'll see you next time.